In this very quick video, we're gonna be uh, setting up an FTP connection to our WordPress site. This is really useful if you need to update plugins or you need to add some files or just generally move stuff about, um, a bit like on your computer when you're dragging and drop files about. So uh, let's get started. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. So FTP, it stands for File Transfer Protocol, which is a bit boring, but I thought I'd let you know. And it's a really useful way of moving stuff to and from your web hosting and your WordPress website. So uh, one good uh, reason to use it is when you're updating a theme or a plugin and you don't want to lose any settings, you can use FTP um, just to copy the new file uh, kind of over your... Uh, your old files and uh, yeah, it's all good to go. So I'm just gonna show you very quickly how to connect um, to your website using FTP. I'm gonna do it on a Mac, but I'm gonna try and help out you PC users as well, because you are gonna need to download a little bit of software to your computer in order to be able to do this. But yeah, I'm gonna hold your hand, take you through it, and uh, well, let's go. Okay, so the first thing you need to do in order to connect to your website via FTP is you need to go into your hosting control panel. Now, the site we're gonna be looking at today is with HostGator. Um, but most hosts have a very similar sort of control panel going on, uh, looks a bit like this. Um, and what you need to do is look for the FTP um, information. Now, generally, uh, with HostGator, for example, the login and password that they send you when you sign up will work uh, with FTP, but with other hosting uh, companies, you have to create an FTP account. Um, so if you need to do that, what you need to do is, when you're in your control panel, you're looking for FTP accounts. You see, I've got it there. And in here, you can then create a username. You know, you put a login there. So that would be, you know, whatever at then the domain name, which this website is Shop Power Tools, which is one of my affiliate sites, which you'll see uh, on my channel in another video if you're interested. You then uh, set a password. And you can then set your, uh, your directory. And generally, it will just be the public HTML will be fine. Um, and then you can click create FTP account. So that's done. Um, the next thing you need to do is uh, find out if the FTP um, server address is different to your domain. Now, now generally it's not. So again, with HostGator, it should be the it should be fine. You just connect to your domain name. But if you scroll down within your control panel, and again, it's going to vary depending on your hosting company. Um, you can see here, and there's nothing uh, relating to like FTP server, whatever. For example, if you're running um, with TSO Host, which is another um, hosting company that I recommend, they do have a different IP address for the FTP server, so you need to check that out. Anyway, we've got our account set up, so now we need our FTP client. Now, I'm on a Mac, as you can see, and I use um, this, com uh, this uh, program called Fetch, uh, which if you do a search for FTP, fetch FTP on Google, you'll find it and you can install it, it's free, I think. Yep, and uh, that's for a Mac. Now for PC, I'm, I haven't used a PC for a little while, I'm afraid, but I think there's a program called WinFTP, which is pretty good. Uh, but again, if you just do a Google search for Windows FTP client or something, something like that, you'll find a piece of software that looks very much like this um, and allows you to connect via FTP. So in here, it's asking for the host name. As I said, it's generally the domain name, uh, which for this one is shoppowertools.com. The username is that one that I just set up, or it could be your hosting um, login generally, whatever you use, that will probably work as well, but for now I'll use the one I just created. So that was whatever, uh, shoppowertools.com. And then the password is the password I just set. And then I can click connect. And that's connected. And now basically we can just have a look at all the files and folders that are on our hosting that power our WordPress website or whatever website you happen to be running. Um, so it's great for if you need to change plugins or if you need to update your WP config file, anything like that. You are gonna come across situations where you need to get FTP access. And, and we've got it, we're in, we're ready to go. And da -da, off we go. So uh, that's it, very quick video. Got any questions or comments or you get stuck or anything? Um, or if you know of a great FTP program for, um, for Windows, then please post it in the comments below. That'd be really helpful for other viewers of this video. Um, but until next time, I'll see you later. Bye for now.